All right, everyone. Uh, so the other day I was sat there trying to remember um, the first team I used in my first ever playthrough of Pokemon. Now, the first time I played Pokemon was I was about seven years old when Pokemon Red first came out. So it was quite a while ago. Um, I still have that cartridge to this day, but um, when you turn it on, that battery is long gone. So, yeah, it took me a bit of time to sit down. Um, ended up having a few beers, trying to sit down and remember the team that I used. Um, finally remembered it, and so this is my team. Okay, so, of course, I started with Charizard. Who didn't, really? Um, Pokemon Red, Fire Breathing Dragon on the front. It's l literally the coolest Pokemon ever. Um, I definitely over-leveled this Pokemon. Uh, for some reason, still had Ember in the moveset. And because of button bashing, I got rid of Flamethrower. So that was an ultimate rookie move. Luckily, you were able to find Fire Blast later in the game. So once I had Fire Blast, it kind of had a decent attack. But still, yeah, I did manage to get it to level 100 after grinding for so long. Um, I never knew about the rare candy cheat till later in the game, uh, or further playthrough. So... Yeah, a genuine level 100 Charizard through grinding. Not bad. Second Pokemon. Um, second Pokemon for the team was Pidgeot. Um, first Pokemon possibly caught in the wild, maybe, you know. Um, but yep, I raised it from level 3. Um, never traded it for anything else. Um, still had the move Gust and Sand Attack because I'm not very good at changing moves. Um, probably finished at about a level 70-ish once I did restart the game. Third Pokemon. Now this was a good one. Um, I had a Graveler in my team. Um, firstly, I had a Graveler because I thought Golman, Golem was a cool Pokemon. And second, because someone told me on the playground, I believed it would evolve at level 100 into the Golem. And yeah, I was very disappointed. I never actually got to level 100, but when someone told me it was basically full of shit, I kind of just didn't use it that much anymore, but yeah, I had a golem, a graveler in my team. Next Pokemon, um, Tentacruel, my water beast. I mean, he had folded arms in the <laughs> in his in his sprite, so I thought that was pretty cool. And then I taught it surf, and I could just pretty much sweep anything with him. So he became my water Pokemon. I did try a few others, but they just yeah never worked. Um, I remember evolving Eevee into Vaporeon, realizing it didn't have any water moves, and I thought, well, what a waste of time, so Tentacruel it was. Next, um, Moltres. Okay, so um, this, this is a tricky one, because I couldn't remember what I had in the team before Moltres, but I caught it just before the Pokemon League. Um, I can't remember, yeah, it was alright, I guess. Fire Spin was a flaming bird, so... It needed to be in the team. For some reason, I taught it Fly, when I also Pidgeot had Fly, so kind of wasted a move set there. But yeah, Moltres was in the team. And my final Pokemon for my six when I fought the Elite Four for the first time, and one, was Grimer. Yep, I had a Grimer. Uh, main reason was because, again, Ash had a Muck, so I wanted a Muck in my team. Um, but at this point, I was pretty over grinding through levels, so... I had it in the team, um, I think it was about in its level 30s, but I was probably pretty close for it to evolve, but yeah, by the time I finished the Elite Four for the first time, it was a Grimer still, um, but luckily it didn't matter because I had a Charizard, which was way too overleveled, so I just walked straight through the Pokemon League. Yeah, so that was my six, um, these are the ones I took to the Elite Four, beat them with the first time. Um, would love to hear what your guys' first teams were. Um, my next plan is to try and remember what I did for Silver. Um, silver, I started with Cyndaquil. That's the best way I can remember it. Um, yeah, so before we go, um, just a few honorable mentions. We've got um, Radicate. Now, this probably was my first Pokemon, if I'm honest, that I caught. Um, taught it Bubble Beam, but then just swapped it out for some reason and never brought it back in. Um, Lapras. Tried using the lap pressure you get given in the game, but again, meh, Tentacruel was way better. And then Clefable, um, yeah, Clefairy at the beginning of the game, ultimate powerhouse, but um, I got mad when I realised that the uh, Moonstone I could have used on a Nidorino to get a Nidoking, and I just kind of put it in a box, and I left it there. 
once I had beaten the Pokemon League, there was two changes to my team. Um, basically, Zapdos came in. That was what Graveler got swapped out for. I mean, it's an electric bird. Why not put it in the team? And then, of course, Mewtwo. Mewtwo, yeah. Bam, I got that one to level 100, actually, as well, through grinding. So my only two level 100s without cheating were my Charizard and my Mewtwo. Um, fun fact, I accidentally used my Master Ball on a Shelter, so I had to go through and catch it the old-fashioned way. But yeah, once I had him in the team, I think I beat the Elite Four like 50 times before realizing nothing else was going to happen in the game. So yeah, thank you for listening, and yeah, let me know your teams.